Hey guys, what's happening? I thought today we'd do a quick little video about using and understanding libraries. Because if you're just getting started with Arduino and you know you've got yourself some sensors and stuff like that, and you know you need to install various libraries for them, but you're not quite sure how to use it. So we're going to start with something really simple which is the DHT humidity temperature sensor that's usually included with all of those like 37 in one 45 in one sensor kits and we're going to take a look at the code here and we're also going to take a look at the library and how to figure out what else the code does and what the commands are and what they mean so what you want to do is go to your documents library and then go into let's see here documents Arduino then you want to go to your libraries and find the library that you're looking for in this case we're talking about the DHT sensor library and if you open it up you know you'll see all this stuff including the examples and in this case we have the DHT sensor example open over here but you're going to notice a couple other files in here uh, one with a dot H and one with the dot CPP and the one we're going to be interested in is the dot H file okay so you need to figure out what you want to use to open it with notepad word pad I've got it set up for word pad and we'll pop it open here and you can take a look at what's going on and this is where you can see what all the commands are how they're defined and how to use them so if we come down here to the first thing which is the class statement okay and the class is DHT so if we come over here to the sketch and of course we're including the library and we're defining a pin and we're defining a type blah 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 but okay here we have the class DHT right here we have DHT so this is the class statement and here is where we are giving it a name we're calling it in this instance DHT again in lowercase but you can call it whatever you want and you can see the arguments right here that the DHT takes first argument is the pin second argument is the type and there's an optional third argument over here but we're not going to deal with that just these two right here so the first thing it wants to know is the pin so you see we have tell it the pin and the next thing it wants to know is the type and we tell it the type so this is called creating an instance so that's what we've done here is we have created an instance of the DHT sensor now the next thing we have is the begin function so there you see begin and it is a void meaning nothing there and if we come down to our sketch you see DHT begin so we have called this instance right here that we've created lowercase DHT and we begin it so that we are actually starting the sensor basically all right following with me so far next we have read temperature and if we scroll down here you can see we have that function right here read temperature function and again it's with the lowercase dht which we defined up here we also have read humidity and you see that one 
right here. Now we also have a couple more. And if your example maybe only has read humidity and read temperature, you know, as, just as an example, you might not even know these other things exist and you're wondering what else you can do with this particular sensor. Well, this is what you can do with it. Okay? So, right here we have DHT read temperature. And you can see here in the comment it says read temperature as Celsius. That's the default. So, read temperature with a Boolean in the uh, function definition there is set for false and you can see it is forced false. All right, the default. But if we say read temperature true, then it is going to read the temperature as Fahrenheit. And it's going to use that convert to Fahrenheit. So you see how that works. Then down here, we have compute heat index with F and H parameters. And if we go down here into our header file, compute heat index, we have temperature and percent humidity, which are our two parameters. So you can see it's actually pretty easy to learn what is going on in the libraries. And this will work for any library you download because they all have to have that header file. That's just part of the way that the C language works. So I hope you have a better understanding. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, comment, share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? Come on.